Our phones are more like our best friends. They know all of our secrets, right? From social media accounts, right? All the way down to our bank details. They store all our memories from treasured photos to personal messages. We even trust them with our own identity with biometric data like fingerprints and digital versions of our driving license, Aadhaar card and whatnot. So it's pretty safe to say that our phone, or well, more precisely, the data on our phone, it is very valuable and most of us would want to protect it. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and today's video is all about how Samsung's Knox works, how it protects us, our data and our phones from the big bad cyber world out there. Now if you do end up finding this video informative, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So now let's start with a big question, what is Samsung Knox? Well, simply put, it is a layer of security, an added extra layer of security on top of what Google already provides with stock Android. So what makes Knox special? After all, there are so many apps from the Play Store that we can download and well, they do provide us a secret folder, an additional pin or password for protection. Well, first off, it's a third party app that we're gonna have to entrust our data to. And who knows what they might be doing with it. I mean, even a, you know, a well so-called reputed company like Facebook, They've had their issues with data, right? A lot of issues with data. So what would a third party that you might not have heard of in the past, what would they actually do with the data? Now, of course, some user interfaces like Realme UI, they have an option built right into the system. So we are using the system apps themselves. But then again, the problem here is that it's just software-based security, while Knox, on the other hand, is a mix of hardware and software, which makes it a lot more secure. Now, before we get into the how and the why of hardware-based security and what it means, let me take a minute to say that some Samsung phones do indeed have Knox services installed without having dedicated Knox hardware. In those cases, the security layer is software only, just like what we've seen with other brands. However, in most, most Note, S and even A series phones, Samsung does have Knox, the hardware plus software security combo. Now, coming to the next big question, how does Knox operate? Well, without getting too technical, we have two main hardware components, ARM, Trust Zone, Secure World, and, boot, and the bootloader itself. Now, the primary bootloader is the first piece of code that is executed when we switch on a device. So if that gets compromised, the entire boot chain is at risk, which is why Samsung stores the PBL in the ROM uh, of the secure hardware. As for the ARM Trusted Zone, this refers to privileged software zone where data is isolated and cannot be accessed by any other apps. It's very useful, especially when storing sensitive data like biometric information. Uh, other than these though, we do have ha hardware keys that help in the signing of licenses. Basically, these are kind of like digital signatures that tell the phone which apps uh, and programs are allowed to run and what part of uh, the internal storage are they allowed to access. Now, on top of all of these, we also have a couple of hardware fuses and they basically, they basically do what their name suggests. The rollback fuse doesn't let the system downgrade to a previous previous version. So basically, uh, if there is an exploit that Google has addressed and Samsung has addressed and you've rolled on to a new version of the firmware, people cannot go ahead and downgrade your phone to exploit uh, that loophole, the, 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 the security issue, whatever the security glitch was. Once it's addressed, you cannot roll back to it. And that's what a rollback fuse does. The warranty fuse, well, it is pretty uh, self-explanative. Now the hardware portion of Samsung Knox is supported by the software that we see on both Samsung devices. So these are what we see as the always on kernel protection as well as several Samsung personal apps. What are they? Well, they include Samsung Pay. So if we save our credit or debit cards or any of our bank details to Samsung Pay, it is secured with Knox. Not just that, Samsung Health, Samsung Pass, Secure Folder and Knox Workspace, they're all included on the list. Now, we've made a detailed video before on Samsung Secure Folder, but here's a quick refresher. We can access Secure Folder via, I mean, from the notification sheet. Once signed in, we can use a pin, pattern, you know, password or biometric security to access a Secure Folder. Inside, we can already find a bunch of pre-installed Samsung apps, but the best part is that we can add any app here. What's more, once we do put an app inside, we get a brand new account and can set it up with our credentials on all the data of that instance of that app will now be protected by Knox security. That includes the account details itself. And it's not just limited to the app, we can store images, video, music, documents, pretty much anything in here and it would be more of a secure vault for personal use. 
Now, as far as Knox workspace goes, it is more for IT admins who want to deploy Samsung, uh, Samsung devices in the organization. Knox Suite and business services allow, allow them, allows them to uh, configure a bunch of devices directly, set up VPNs and corporate IT policies, and even set them up with apps for the workplace. Even before the devices have been unboxed, they can go ahead and do all this. Knox Suite also allows IT admins to provide remote support to users. All of this does come at a cost as Knox Suite for business, that's not free, that is something you'll have to pay for. But the regular Knox platform, it is built into select Samsung devices and protects user data for free. Think of it like an antivirus, but one that actually has hardware level reach and military grade security. Ah, yes, military grade security. Now that's a term that, that gets thrown around often, uh, especially when Knox is being discussed. What does that actually mean? Simply put, the US Department of De Defense allows Samsung devices to be used on their military network. Now, to be fair, no security is in impenetrable, no matter how good it is. But when it comes to mobile platform security, Knox is as good as it's gonna get. So if you do own a Samsung device or you value your data, then Knox offers an easy to use security solution that makes use of dedicated hardware and advanced encryption techniques to make sure your data does not fall into the wrong hands. And in a world where cyber crimes and digital identity, identity theft are becoming increasingly common, it's nice to know that at least your smartphone's got your back. And that is pretty much what Knox is and why it is seen as important. Now, that's, now Knox is not a be all end all. That shouldn't be the deciding factor in buying a phone. Most definitely not. And if I were saying it is gonna be a deciding factor, uh, it is the deciding factor rather, then you can accuse me of Hey, being biased about it, being biased about Samsung. But the reality is Knox is something important for you to consider. It is not the be all end all, uh, but hey, if you value your data, if you value your privacy, if you value uh, the security of your phone, then this is something you can keep in mind when you're choosing phones. So anyway, I hope this helped clarify something you hear a lot about in videos on YouTube. By the way, do any of you already use Knox personally or maybe uh, in your workspace? If yes, how has your experience been? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, it is time for me to bid you adieu. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.